Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Silent Hill 4. Well, one thing I definitely gotta do... Yay! Reloaded! I... Am... Hmm. I was about to say I guess I'll keep the bullet in my inventory, but really... Oh, what the hell, I'll keep it in there. What I will return, however, is the placard. Alright. Now that I have a rusty axe at my disposal, I'm gonna get ready to chop stuff up. Now, if you recall, the last thing I did was take a look at Eileen. Oh, what? No. Oh, went to sleep or something. Okay, I was gonna say she was getting ready for a party, but... Nope, she's just chilling in her bed. But remember, I still do not feel very good about her welfare. I think she might be in trouble soon. After all, we got an explicit warning from Walter himself. Watch out for your neighbor. So, uh, not looking forward to that. Gotta say, huh? Wait a second. Were these chains... Was this always unchained, that one particular one? And that one? I don't know. My memory's hazy. I don't know. Eh, yeah, yeah, keep rambling. Well, we took care of the building world anyway, and the man we met there, Richard Braintree, died of electrocution. To an electric chair, of all things. Ugh. So, you can only wonder who else is going to be around to die in horrible ways. Alright, that hole is freaking huge. Let's wash our hands. I might as well forget about getting water out of here. Yeah, really. There's something in the toilet. Should I grab it? Oh, is this a Silent Hill 2 joke? I'm not brave enough to do it! And if you don't grab it, then you don't grab it. Yeah, there's there's nothing in the toilet. Um, When I first played through this game, this drove me crazy, because I really thought that there was something I could do about this. But, no, it's just a joke. There's absolutely nothing you can do about this supposed object in the toilet. So, well played, Konami, well played. This hole, it doesn't look like a human made it. <laughs> Reminds me of Ghostbusters. No human could have stacked books in such a manner. It's getting bigger and rounder. I think I've seen this pattern before. Really? Will you go inside? Yeah, sure. I'm not brave enough to reach in the Franken toilet, but yeah, I'll go into the interventional void. No hesitation. Last time I went in here, I ended up in an alleyway. Time before that, a water prison. But the toilet! Oh, wouldn't want to go anywhere near that. Now where am I? Whoa. This place looks like hell. Is this the other world someplace? 303. That's Eileen's room. And that's a creepy knock. Oh, don't answer the door. Dude, come on, that's a creepy knock. You should know not to answer the door. That's one creepy dude. And there are those dead dogs around. Did he kill those? Well, Eileen might be safe for now. He knocked and walked away. I guess she'll be freaked when she opens the door. It looks like my apartment. What the hell is this? Welcome to the apartment world. I'm not even kidding. I went through a hole to an alternate universe? To my apartment? I don't know. Yeah, needless to say, I'm not getting through there. Look at this place! I can actually go in? I'm looking at something. Hopefully it's not threatening. Books? A memo? A run of those red memos. I want that. But first the book. A diary. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me who gave me that rare porn magazine, really, looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. Oh, I want my porn! He said he was a journalist, and he's always investigating stuff, but I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment, and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. You think Joseph was the guy who lived there before me? In my room? Oh, my beautiful Rachel. What's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along in my clothes. Those are my best clothes. July 2nd. Mike. I guess that's his payment for the porn magazine? Clothes? 
red piece of paper with nothing written on it. Sure, I'll have it. It's an inventory item? I'll stick it into room 302's door. Oh yeah, remember when I got that illegible paper under my own door? You think I'll send the note to myself and it'll translate itself or something? That'd be freaking awesome. Look at all these porno magazines. It's a lot of porno magazines, I gotta say. Nothing in the fridge. You know, come to think of it, if you look at the overhead of this place, this looks just like my apartment. Just from this angle. Except for that terrifying stuff. What I am going to do is I will check the hole. I'm pretty sure it means put the paper under room 302 in the apartment world, but I'm going to try it in my apartment just to see. Okay, can't use the red paper here. Just checking. Woo! Nothing. What does it sound? That, that couldn't be the supply. Hold on. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. Oh, 01121 is actually 1 out of 21. See, that's what I said in the beginning. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but he never finished the job. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the 7th and 8th victims. That, that's the, uh, the freaky double baby-faced victim. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. Remember, according to Silent Hill 2, it was with a spoon. Stabbed himself in his carotid artery. The grisly mass murder of ten people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. The first is what was the motive for the murders. The second is why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. There couldn't actually be something going on in the supply closet room, could there be? Well, that's a first. A disgusting, disgusting first. Nothing interesting. Washing machine. I'm saving the dryer. I'm saving the dryer. Tank filled with oil. Tools. Okay, now for the now for the money shot. What the hell is this? The dryer sprayed blood all over the place. And now it's off. You know, I'm liking this room less and less. Oh, just because something changed, let's check that fridge again. Okay. You never know, this is Silent Hill. Oh good, she's still alright. I'm telling you, I'm not looking forward to whatever's gonna happen. Go ahead and say, and do it up here. Two hours and 47 minutes. If I was going for a 10 star ranking, I would have beaten the game by now. Of course, I would have had to skip every single cutscene and ultimately bore you because you wouldn't know what anything meant. And frankly, neither would I. So, uh, well, actually, what's that on the floor? The little wavy thing. I was wondering if that was anything. Oh, wow, that's quite a lot of red. This guy, is the super? How much younger? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Take the key, you idiot. All right. 105. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the super, but yeah. Although whoever his father is, his face is scribbled out in black ink. That's kind of creepy. It's a photo of a nurse. It says, I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back of it. Locker 106. Hell yeah! Oh god, I gotta drop I gotta drop inventory items very soon. Photo of a nurse. You think it's Lisa? Porno magazines, damn it. That's creepy. Magazine. Teaching despair. Really? Wish house. 
Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope, but at its heart, it's a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. This sounds exactly like that reporter's article in Silent Hill 3. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night, I could hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of the facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people is a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schrieber I'd forgotten about that. That article is utterly identical to the one in Silent Hill 3. And Silent Hill 3 did mention the Concrete Tower. Silent Hill 4 actually explores it. That's awesome. Porn ma- Oh, that's funny. Porno magazines. There's no time for that right now. Implying that under better circumstances, I would have time for that. That's freaking hilarious. God damn, where am I? I'm not taking elevators yet. I want to explore the rest of the uh, third floor. What the hell? There's a ghost? I was not prepared for this. Okay. There's a ghost in the room with a hole. That's messed up. Look at that. The floor just disappears away to this grate. And these dogs are dead. That's good. Walter! What the hell? Did he just disappear when I got close? Ugh. Well, it's my room, alright. But, this time... How much you want to bet? That's a note to myself, and I will find that when I go back in my room. Oh, this place is freaking huge. Eileen's room! Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I'm not feeling good about Eileen. Man, somebody killed everything here. Locked. I really want an cat. Yeah, I want an, uh, an angle change so I can see what's going on. I can go downstairs. Whoa! whoa. And he's holding a doll. I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. He's got blood on his face and everything. She was younger than me back then. What does that mean? You're older than her now? Or she's older than you now? She looked so happy. Holding her mother's hand. Dude, you gotta... Here. Give it to you. Hey, that was seamless. You'd think I'd see the item clip off of his hand or something, but no. Shabby doll, yes. What am I supposed to do with this, though? She was so young then. So happy with life. Just holding on to her mother's hand. You're kind of creeping me out there, buddy. I'm gonna walk away from you now, and you are not going to chase me and kill me. There's a good boy. God damn. You know what? Before I even touch the elevators, no. Nah, uh, ah, the hell with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back into the whole room. I gotta read that note. Uh. the same way they show up. Yeah, do you think that this guy could travel between dimensions, or that someone could travel between dimensions, and this is how I get my... Oh, 
god, jeez. And that's how I get my letters? You gotta, you gotta wonder. Like, technically, I'm outside my room right now. I'm free, but not really. Oh, my full health. I like that part. Sure enough. Sure enough. It was four years ago that they discovered the body with 12 out of 21 carved into it. Right away, I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years, having committed suicide three years before the murder. The police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two, but something about it bothered me. May 14th. Uh. Yeah, I gotta drop some stuff off. One bullet, why not? I don't even feel comfortable with all this stuff. This is like way too much stuff. But this sword, that, that triangular sword is absolutely necessary. When I find a good ghost to stab, you better believe I'm going to be all over it. I hear movement. Looks like Eileen is okay. I still get the feeling I better hurry up. You know something bad is going to happen. Walter knocked on her door. You saw a little kid there. Last time a little kid was knocking on people's doors. Or at least the last time a little kid interacted with the guy. You saw him with Jasper, and you saw him with Braintree, and those guys went down horribly. Well, rather than taking the elevator, I think I will simply take the stairs and avoid this ghost. That really is a cheap trick by the game, starting me with a ghost. At least she doesn't pursue me. I love how room 303 is untainted, but everything else is tainted. Makes you wonder if room 303 is untainted because Eileen hasn't been destroyed yet. We'll see. We'll see. Oh god, he's gone. Uh. Well... I can't say I'm enjoying this. There's the second floor doorway. And stairs to the first floor. Let's let's take a look. A bloody bicycle. Jacob's ladder much? 205. Ooh, living dogs. I get to test out my new weapon. Come on. Watch my invincible frames of critical hits! Wow! That was amazing! Let's do it again. Twofer? Boom! Suddenly, I like this weapon. This is a good weapon. This is a very good weapon. A lot of locked doors, though. I'm not liking that part. Trash can? It looks like it should be outdoors. 207. What are my keys again? Oh yeah, 105. And a locker key, it said 106. Garbage. Garbage. Okay, well at least I cleared this hallway of enemies. Let's try the other side. And then I'll go to the first floor, which is where the supers room is. I feel better knowing where Walter is. Oh, look at all this. It's all, it's all fleshy. It's disgusting. Oh, God. I don't need this. You hear that whispering? Dude, this sucks. Really? This whole hallway is worthless? Oh. Ugh. I don't like this. Oh. Okay, my health looks good. 
Well, as fun as that was, let's go downstairs. A rose compass on the floor? Another hole, I appreciate that. I'm actually getting ready to use that, too. Okay, yeah, it's a maze everywhere. I know I didn't really get that far, but I'm going to use the hole just so I can come back here the next time I go through a hole. It'll save me some time. Sorry about this, but I'm taking no chances in a level like this. Is Eileen still okay? Hello? No new notes. Fridge? Eileen? Ah, sorry. Camera's flipping out. Alright, still looking good. Whew! Whatever I do, I better do it quickly. <clears throat> very, very quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not going to have much fun with this if Eileen gets the crap kicked out of her because Walter's chosen her to be the next sacrament. That's one thing you don't want. Ugh, look at this place. Hey, what's this? Numbers 101 through 304. Where's 106? Oh, you know what? Maybe I just have to use the item? Aha! I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. Uh, thank you? That didn't really help me. Like, at all. Oh! Anything on the floor? Okay. We'll see map-wise. I have three doors. Not much like in that part. Maybe the one of them will be locked. You never know. Crap. Ugh, look at this place. Oh! We'll see what's in here. Now I'm getting nervous. Especially this camera angle is weirding me out. Bars in the doors. I'm looking at something. Henry, Henry sees something. First I'll check everything that's not relevant, just to be safe. A diary. The red box seems strange, even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting, but I just can't throw it away. Maybe that's the umbilical cord. It must have been around 30 years ago. The young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. Gross. I called the ambulance right away, and I heard the baby survived, but I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. Oh, don't tell me this is Walter. He was abandoned as a baby? One day he just stopped coming by, but now that I think of it, I'll bet he was that abandoned baby. Here's a horrible story, abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302, my room, if you recall. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Dude, throw it away. You're freaking gross. It's 30 years old, and I'm going to throw up. Is there anything else to look at? It's a good plot. Ah, I'm trying to change the camera angle and failing. Oh, what else do I notice? What's this? A red box. It really stinks. That is all kinds of gross. That is freaking gross. What else do I notice, though? Aha! Relevance. Red paper. Oh, just rip under 302's door again. More plot. I like this. Oh, okay, there we go. Another one. Okay. You know I'm going to find the other half later. Can I take this, pl please? Apartment. Nice. Now I can unlock all the rooms, except for 303, which is the one room I really want. 
damn it. Well. 106, where have I not looked? Alright, I'm gonna run to the end of the hallway, I'll see where I go. Okay, I will explore this dead end. And then I'm gonna go back up to 302 and deposit my inventory items, because I gotta. Ugh, I have to explore all these rooms, this sucks. Bathrooms, hey, I feel safe now. Actually, that wasn't so bad. Anything of interest? At all? No? Well, thanks for nothing, tenant of this apartment. What good are you? Ooh, ooh, what's this? The big speaker. It sure is. The hell's the point of this? Wow! It's a turntable. Okay. Records and music magazines. So we got the porn room, we got the records room. Nothing in the kitchen. Alright. Guess it was harmless enough. I like harmless. Hey look, an upside down bike with no wheels. Also, 106, baby. Kitchen? Whoa, that's wacky wallpaper. It's like transcendental, man. Useless. Useless. I figure they'll be locked, but I just want to check to be safe. Whoa. How do you live here? My darling's number. And there's some phone and there's some numbers that look like a phone number. Well you press these numbers. Oh boy. Does every game have a creepy phone conversation? Oh, I should not have dialed that. Rachel, this is Rachel's room? Get me the hell at Oh, ow! Oh, this is bad. I guess I shouldn't have dialed that number. Oh, I've done it now. No, wrong way. Woo! -hoo! See you later. This is grating into my ears. Why do I still hear this phone number? And I gotta go upstairs when I drop off the stupid notes because my inventory is absolutely packed full now. Isn't it? I'm on floor three now, right? No. Oh, of course I'm not. I was just in the 100s. Where's this? Where, where are the other stairs? Where the hell are the other stairs? Um. Uh. I get it. I guess I have to track the apartment down that has the right phone. this? Do you think that this isn't the phone, is it? No. Man, I'm snooping everywhere. More than anything, I just want to go to the third floor real quick. This is really embarrassing, but like, how the hell did I get to the third floor? Oh, there we go. Jeez. Alright, let's go into that hole. Well, actually, let's go to room 302. There we go. There we go. I feel better now. Red paper. Torn red paper. That's better. That phone just keeps ringing, doesn't it? I can't 
can't tell what floor it's on. It sounds like I'm getting warmer. Other way? Oh, God. Oh, no. It's a barbell. Old game machines and devices, I have no idea what they are. Okay, okay, it's books about computers. Okay, it's a computer geek, I get it. Old video games, okay, this guy's a gamer. Let me the skinned mic. I can listen to it on the stereo in my room. Uh, dude, yeah! But let me get out of this room. Oh my god, get away from me. First, I have to explore. I'm sorry, but I have to explore. I just gotta. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, this is bad. Out of my way. Can I, can I take this? No, I can't. Okay, goodbye, I'm done. Yeah. Where's the damn phone? Whoa. Nice try, freak. Shut up. Oh, I was so close. Oh. Where's your ghost helper now? Is that the phone? Ah, oh, this sound is going into my head. Um. Oh, ugh. What the hell is this? What are these bunk beds? What am I even looking at? Whatever, it's irrelevant. I'm getting the hell out of here. As soon as I check the living room area, little kids toys. Yeah, kids toys. Teddy bear. Nothing in the kitchen. Look, dude, all I want to do is find that damn phone. That's so much to ask. Is it really that much to ask? Maybe it's in here. 